So in our next um, assignment, we are gonna do a design and build challenge. Now we've done some design and build challenges, and, but we're gonna kinda start changing them up again so that you're going to draw the schematic and then you're going to build the activity. So in this activity that we're doing, we are going to be drawing the schematic. In our next one, you will be building that. Now the reason that I'm out here by the lathe is because I wanted to show you um, kind of more of how this motor control works and I wanted to show you it in a real life application so maybe you would kind of like grasp it a little better or maybe you'd want to remember it a little better just because it actually has a really good um, application. So what we're going to be building is what they call a run jog circuit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the actual circuit here in a minute but I wanted to show you what a run jog circuit was. So this lathe has a run jog circuit. Notice this screen button right here says jog on it. If we press it, oops, sorry, we, we turn it on and press it, it's gonna just jog that, uh, that chuck for the time that we are holding the button, okay? It will not latch on, it will not stay on. Now, if I go and I turn the actual switch on, like this over here, it will turn on and continuously stay on. Now, this, the reason you would want to have a jog button like this would be if, per se, you wanted to jog a conveyor belt to move up a little bit so that way you can get to where maybe the splice is. Or for us, I like to use the jog button so that I can see if my, my shafts here are spinning so I know that it's in gear. Um, we could also hit the jog button to see how fast it's you know, rotating with the RPMs to make sure we have our RPMs correctly um, dialed in. So things like that are just, um, it's just good to have mainly for maintenance. So what I'd like to do now is I wanna show you the actual circuit set up on my trainer and before you guys get started um, working on your schematic. So let's check that out. Okay, so here's my completed run jog circuit. If, again, we gotta make sure that the e-stop is out. If I go ahead and I change it to, I believe right now it's on the run circuit. Oh, no, it, it, right, it turned this way, this uh, or black selector switch. Turn this way, it will latch the motor on and it will continuously run. We can hit the stop button and it will stop it. If we go over and change it to the jog mode, we can press the button and it will not latch in. So like I said, you would be holding this button, waiting as the conveyor belt would spin to the place that you would like, um, and then you would release the button. So it just gives you that little bit more control. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna design this lab um, and you're gonna draw up the schematic for me in this, this activity. Make sure that it has an e-stop in it that works. Make sure that you have a, this black selector switch to select between run and jog. Make sure you're using a green button to start it and a, a red one to turn it off. Make sure that you have a two amp breaker, a transformer, and an e, or a motor control all in there, okay? So go ahead and let's draw up that schematic and get started.